You know what I'm gonna say? It's social media. I don't think you'll ever realize the toll that social media has on your mental health, on your productivity, until you take a break from it, until you detox. I promise you that if you use social media for more than one hour a day, you are handicapping yourself. You might as well just be chopping your brain in half. At this moment in time, the social media apps I have are WhatsApp, Instagram, and YouTube. WhatsApp and YouTube, I use YouTube to post videos, so I'm, I'm not gonna delete YouTube. And WhatsApp, I use it to contact my friends, my family, like whoever. Instagram is like the main social media that like has a negative effect on my life. So last weekend I was feeling overstimulated because I had spent a lot of time on my phone during the week. So it was like an accumulation of overstimulation on one day, then overstimulation on the next. And I don't spend much time on my phone, so I wasn't used to that. So on that day I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna detox from social media. So the next day I set guidelines for myself. The guidelines were I wasn't gonna use WhatsApp or Instagram until I think it was 7 p.m. So I did that, I followed my guidelines. And let me tell you, from one day of not using social media at all. You can't even imagine the benefits that I had. You can't even imagine how good my mental health was. The only thing I used my phone for before 7 p.m. was editing and reading, because I read from my phone. Those were the only things I used my phone for. I didn't go on, on Instagram to like just check up on my friends. I didn't go on WhatsApp. And as I said before, the benefits that I got from this were immense. My mental clarity was off the charts. My focus, my attention span, it like it, it 10x in one day. In fact, on Sunday, the day when I did the detox, it was a Sunday. On that day, I read for two hours straight. And you're like, oh, I read it for two hours. But think about this. I didn't put the book down. I didn't have an urge to go on social media. I didn't have an urge to check my messages. I was reading on my phone where all these distractions were. And I still didn't have the urge to go and check what was happening. I was so focused on the book I was reading that, yeah. I didn't have the urge to do anything. I was fully present in that moment. In every activity that I did on Sunday, I was fully present. With all the tasks that I performed, I did them with relentless focus. And you know, everything that I've said right now is due to productivity, but my mental health, I think that is the best my mental health has been in the past few months. Simply because I was like, you know, I'm not going to use any form of social media today. And you want to know something interesting? All of my intrusive thoughts, all those, you know those intrusive thoughts that you have like when you're scrolling Instagram and, you're like, and you think about some traumatic thing. You think that if I was spending less time on these social media apps and I was just, I wasn't distracted at all. You think that I would have more of these intrusive thoughts because my brain would be less occupied. But the exact opposite thing happened. I don't even think I had one intrusive thought the whole day. Think about that, the whole day I wasn't having any intrusive thoughts. I think the first time I had intrusive thoughts on that day was when I picked up my phone and I was like, right, let me go check out, let me go check WhatsApp. Like it's the end of the day. I was, yeah, I'd finished my work. I promise you, as soon as I went on social media, my intrusive thoughts came back. I don't know if it's connected to social media. I don't know if it's like that for everyone, but I think it's something important to note that my intrusive thoughts came back as soon as I went on social media. The benefits that I got from this, like they were insane. You know, once you spend time off of social media, once you just sit with yourself, you realize that you're actually the funniest person on earth. Like, you know, I was sitting there, so it was like I was a madman. I was sitting outside, like I have a chair right outside of my room. And I was sitting on that chair. And I was just listening to my thoughts, observing what I was thinking. And I kid you not, I, I'm the funniest man on this earth. No, no, <laughs> no one can tell me otherwise. I was just sitting there and I was laughing out loud because of the things that my brain was coming up with. There's so much fun to be had off the screen. You can have so much fun literally just sitting and not stimulating yourself by scrolling on social media and watching Andrew Tate reels that motivate you for 30 seconds, but then two minutes later you've forgotten about them. There's so much you can gain from just putting your phone down and doing absolutely nothing, just staring into an abyss, staring into the sky, thinking about your life. You're better off doing nothing than scrolling on social media. Like quite frankly, you're better off just staring into the sky, staring at the trees, than spending more than an hour on social media, just mindlessly scrolling, filling up your mind with random propaganda. The main thing that I want you to get from this video is if you spend more than an hour on these platforms, you might as well just chop your brain off because you're handicapping yourself.